all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. What is the meaning of this stanza? This is the first stanza of this beautiful poem, All Things Bright and Beautiful by C.F. Alexander. And this is the Tisar with you to explain the meaning of the first stanza. All things bright and beautiful. Whatever things you see around you that is bright, that is shining, scintillating, beautiful, full of beauty, nice, excellent. All creatures great and small, all creatures, whatever living beings you see, they are they may be great, they may be small. You just imagine a small ant or you just imagine a small squirrel. Students, all of you know the importance of a small squirrel in building the Ram Setu. When Lord Rama was going to defeat the demon king Ravana for the making of that Setu, you know how the squirrel has helped. So every small organism, every small animal in the world who has created, every great thing you think about dinosaur, you think about elephant, you think about the blue whale, who has created them? All things wise and wonderful, whatever things you see wise, that may be the greatness of a scientist. Today we are fighting against Corona. Okay, everybody is engaged. All scientists are engaged to make a vaccine. Okay, so everything wise. If a poet, if poet is writing a beautiful poem, jadi yone kobi eko sundaro kobi ta lekho chandi. Jadi yone vyani ko eko sundaro udbhavo na kuru chandi. Tankaro buddhi mata pochare kie. दुनिया रे जहाँ भी तो मैं देखूँ जो उज्जुला सुप्रभ सौंदर्य पुण्य जहाँ भी तो मैं जितने भी जीवों जंतु पशु पक्षी जहाँ भी देखूँ जो छोटो छोटो प्राणी का तो आराम हो रही बहुत बड़ा बड़ा प्राणी का तो अच्छा था समझते सब वंडरफुल थिंग द लॉर्ड गॉड मेड देम ऑल आपको किए तैयारी कर चुके the omniscient, omnipotent. So who we call here students? Lord.